Hey guys, ah, uh, let me let me get the get ready. Okay, all right, I'm getting ready to put this uh, active imaging three-in-one transducer back on the boat on the port side. Uh, you saw some videos I did where I'm comparing the two. Uh, I take I took this off because I haven't run the cable, so I think it's time to finally uh, put this on the boat permanently. We'll get this on and uh, get on the water. Thanks. What I'm going to show you guys is how to use an internal, use the internal hull transducer and the external transducer. I have a three-in-one on the stern that's mounted on my jack plate. Okay. I also have a uh, pod style or what's called a puck transducer that's sitting on my uh, in the hull. Okay. So right now I've got it on a split screen just to help you guys see a little better. I'm going to switch over to just a straight sonar screen. Okay. So right now we are on what says console right, okay? Now the problem with that is because I have two different transducers on this boat, it doesn't tell me which one it is, okay? So what I, the way to do that is I go into pages, okay? And I set and scroll up to network, okay? Then I hit data sources. Once I'm in a data source, I pop open Oops, something. Yeah, we don't need weather. We go to sonar and then we go to depth, okay? Right now, depth is set to my channel two, okay? Now, it says it's set to channel two. The problem is, I'm not exactly sure of that. Um, so, because if I set this back to channel one, okay, you'll see that the sonar image is pretty much the same. But if I flip to this page here and set console right to console right, okay, you notice that the uh, quality of the image changes quite a bit. What I, have, what I have to do first is figure out why that setting is messed up like that, and then what can I do to change it. You'll notice that I lost a lot of surface clutter here. Oops, let me clear that cursor. I lost surface clutter, but I picked up water column clutter, okay. So let me, I, what I have to do is figure out which one is which. Let me just show you the quick way to do it, okay. I can get this camera set right. Okay, all right, that looks okay. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come over here. I am gonna go into my settings, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got both channels turned on. To make sure I'm running on channel one, which is my internal hull, I'm just gonna turn that channel off, okay? Real simple, turn it off. Now, you can see I still have sonar here. I come back over to my panel select, you notice that it, I don't get my, there's my source again, but I should only have one source. So now we know that that source that I'm on right now is my uh, source for internal hull. So you see that's pretty noisy and that's not very good. It's, it's there's something going on and I got to do a little turning on that. But you'll notice that if I, for example, if I'm running on pad, that's fine. I can, I can deal with that because really if I'm running on pad, which is basically, uh, you know, 30 miles an hour or whatever, then I can deal with the noise because I'm not really looking specifically for fish. I might look for fish indicators here. If I do see them, then I will go through it and mark them uh, and set down. And then, what I, then once I get off a of pad, then I want to switch over to use my external one, which will give me better granularity and resolution, a much better screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go to Pages. Okay. I'm going to hit Settings. Go to Sonar. I'm going to turn on Channel 2. Okay. So now Channel 2 is turned on. You notice nothing changed here. So now what you should do is go in to the source again. Okay. Remember that the top one is our in-hull. Unfortunately, it doesn't mark them for you, which would have been nice. So if I touch this one, as soon as it, it notices, it cleaned up quite a bit. And that's because I'm using an external and not going through the hull of the boat. Much, much cleaner. So now, as I'm running, so uh, what I'll do is I'll try to do a, a, a water test, a speed test here in a moment. Uh, I'm going to put some equipment away to see if that works. Uh, but anyway, the idea is that as you're idling around looking for fish, uh, you want to use your better transducer so you can find things better, uh, a lot cleaner, a lot quicker, a lot more granularity. And 
course we're getting a boat that's cutting in front of us as usual. We've got three boats in the whole cove and one guy has to cut in front of me. Anyway, no comments. So, so that's what you want to do uh, for, you know, if you've got a good external transducer, you're going to get better signals, better images outside the hull. So, because you're not going through the fiberglass, you're not, you're going directly to the water column, so you're going to get better, much, much better images, okay? So, what I want to do is I'm going to uh, clean up a few things, and uh, we'll get on pad, and I'll show you what it looks like coming on and off pad. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to pop up on pad. So let me get this motor trimmed down. Okay, motor's trimmed down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. Actually, we're going to stay on the external transducer. I'm going to show you what happens when we get up to speed. Okay, so let's pop up. I gotta get. I gotta get 200 feet away from shore. I don't want to get a ticket. So. All right. So let's pop up. see what happens as soon as I hit roughly 14 miles an hour uh, I lost this the bottom signal okay that's with the transducer that's sitting uh, on the jack plate which is a little bit higher than most of you guys would mount one on a transom normally you can get 45 50 miles an hour off of that but in my case because of where it's mounted uh, I've got I lost it right at about 15 miles an hour so let's try that again I'll record the speed for you all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a, a data overlay at speed over ground. Edit overlay. And there we go. Okay. Pretty much what I had to do is I got to go through and under GPS, I scroll up to speed over ground. So that's what I want to add. Okay. I'm going to now change that, configure it to size of extra large. There we go. All right. So now we're going to back out of that and we're going to save it. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to come back over here, <coughs> camera reset, get my leg out of the way. Okay. See right now, I'm going to avoid this boat out here, we're in gear. We're running, uh, you can see our speed's 1.2 miles an hour. So let's pop this thing up on pad. We're still running the external transducer, which is again, my three in one, which is mounted on my uh, jack plate. Okay, so let's uh, pop this thing up. right at about nine miles an hour so so this transducer is really really good for less than 10 miles an hour at least where my transducer is mounted yours may be a little different because you may have mounted it mounted lower on your boat or on your transom than I do uh, just gotta make sure I avoid all this stuff here so that's what you want to do but what I do is I run this one on my end hull transducer so what we're going to do, let me show you the difference. We're going to pop up. I'm going to flip over to my other one, which is the top one. Okay. So now we're back on that end hull transducer. And you notice I got a lot more noise back. So let's uh, pop back on pad and see what happens. back off pad now and you'll see we're back under five miles an hour but we got 
not quite the image we'd like to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip back over on the menu here. I'm going to change my source back to the external transducer. Okay, it's just that easy to switch back and forth. But again, you just have to remember which one's which. Okay, uh, again, the way I found that out was to turn off my channel 2, which is the 3 and 1. See which one was on the menu, turn it to that one, and then bring up that this menu over here to check my source. So now I'm running on the lower one, which is the second one added, which is channel 2. I have no idea if these are consistently channel 1, channel 2, or are they just randomly show up. They randomly show up in the source list. So, so anyway, so that's what you want to do. It, it's very simple. You don't have to do any resets on your units. It's just getting it set up using a panel, using your panel select here to change your source. Again, changing source is pretty easy. Just head up over here to source. Okay. If I wanted to, I could flip over to my bow lower unit or my even my active target. Uh, I don't want to do that because right now the transducer is out of the water. It wouldn't show me anything. So, all right. So. So there you have it, uh, something fairly simple, fairly straightforward, hopefully it'll save you some time and, and bothers. I know I know, I had one subscriber that uh, requested this or was having some issues and I told him I would make a video for him and hopefully you can uh, see this, it's actually pretty handy. So, Alright, thank you, bye.